Hi there, welcome back. What are we cooking today? Stuffed peppers in tomato sauce, which is traditional Czech dish I used to have growing up. Let's start with onion. Every Czech dish or every Czech sauce starts with frying onion first for delicious flavor. But this time I will use the onion as well into the stuffing for peppers. Dice your onion and in a skillet over medium heat melt a butter and saute the onion till golden color. You can add raw onion into your stuffing, but cooked onion does bring stronger flavor to your meat. In large mixing bowl, combine the ground meat with spices, minced garlic, and egg. I use only pepper and salt, and of course my beloved everything bagel spice when I work with ground meat. Everything bagel spice bring more roasted onion flavor, which I like. You might be wondering what type of meat is the best. It is all about your preference. There is no best meat for this recipe. I usually use what I have on my hand. The most flavorful would be pork and beef. In this case, I'm using pork and turkey. Wash the peppers truly, make circular incision around the stem and remove it. Scoop out all the seeds and the inner white part. The white part contains flavin, which can cause stomach aches and taste bitter. Looks like I almost forgot to add rice. Add rice to your mix. I am using uncooked rice as I never had problem in my recipe coming out undercook. What is the best pepper? In traditional Czech recipe, we use greenish yellowish peppers. They are long and they are sweet. I'm not using those here in the US, instead I'm using red or orange or yellow bell peppers. The sweet flavor of red peppers is lovely in this recipe. However, I don't recommend green bell peppers, they tend to be bitter. Stuff your meat stuffing into your clean bell peppers. Fill about two thirds full as the rice will expand a bit and the peppers will get fuller. Put your tops from bell peppers over your stuffing and secure with toothpick or string. If you have any meat left, make small meatballs for those picky eaters who do not like taste of cooked pepper. My kids are the perfect example. If your meatballs are too sticky, just add a little bit of breadcrumbs to make them hold together. Set aside and let's prepare the sauce. Grab your pot of your choice and add a can of tomato paste and pour warm beef stock over your tomato paste. The warm beef stock will make it easier to stir tomato paste in and dissolve into the smooth sauce. Then add your favorite tomato sauce you use for spaghetti. Gently add your peppers into a pot. They should be keeping each other standing up. You do not want to lay down the peppers, otherwise all stuffing will spill out. I always make a couple of meatballs like I said before for my kids. I stuff the meatballs in empty spots in between my bell peppers. 
you can add as many meatballs as you can fit into your pot. My meatballs do not contain gluten-free breadcrumbs as we do like the small pieces of broken meat in the sauce as well. But if you would like to have more firm meatballs, just add gluten-free breadcrumbs. I am using Instant Pot for this video, but you're welcome to use Dutch oven or regular pot. Check my blog for exact times of cooking when you are not using Instant Pot. Do not forget about your spices. Your spices go into the spice bowl, that way when you are fishing out everything from your sauce, you don't have to fish out peppercorns or allspice or bay leaves. Set your instant pot for 30 minutes. Make sure your vent is on ceiling and let it cook. After the stuffed peppers are finished, I let it sit for another 30 minutes without opening the lid. To finish your sauce, take out all the peppers and your spice ball and put them aside on the plate. My pot was so full that I could not fit my regular spice ball. That way I am using my gadget for loose tea and it worked the same way. I usually transfer my sauce into smaller pot but that is optional. You can finish your sauce in the instant pot on simmer setting. I would recommend add one teaspoon of lemon juice at a time and two tablespoons of sugar. You can always add more if you need it. If you do not like chunky sauce, just take a merge blender and make your sauce smooth. We enjoy the small pieces of broken meat and tomatoes in the sauce, so this is how we eat it. Put lid on and let simmer for a minute or two on low heat. In Czech, we traditionally serve this dish with bacon dumplings or rice, but you can serve it over gluten-free pasta. And if you would like to have recipe for bacon dumplings, the recipe is on my blog as well as the recipe for stuffed peppers. Thank you for watching and come back soon for another video. Dobrou chuť and until next time, bye!